Hey, what's up guys? This is HB and uh, it is really sunny out here. Um, this is my first attempt at making a vlog other than the um, previous video, which I'll get to that in a second. Um, before I start, um, <clears throat> I want to thank everyone that supported me for the whole, for the end the fat hate campaign. Let me tell you, me taking my shirt off and on camera and broadcasting it on YouTube was not easy for me. That's like the first time I've ever done something like that. And the fact that I've had more love than hate with that video really shows that uh, A, there's decent people still out there, and B, that people are watching it. You know, um, hopefully this will spread the word and instill some positivity in people's lives. So I want to thank you all for supporting me and uh, just be sure to watch the video, keep the video circulating, and hopefully we will uh, help in the, in the fat hate. Hashtag in the fat hate. Anyway, back to what I started the video for. Um, this is my first attempt at a vlog um, movie review of sorts. Um, I just got done seeing Mad Max Fury Road. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Um, the... <laughs> two words that describe the, how I feel about what like basically two words summarize the entire movie epic and insane in whichever particular you want either way like I'm really putting heavy emphasis on the insane part this movie is fucking crazy <laughs> I mean Jesus Christ they're like these other factions of these Mut no, not mutants. What am I saying? Like the other factions of survivors, like it's just so fun to watch, and it's just bah. I I'm getting like ahead of myself here. Um, but one thing I do want to note is big props to the whoever came up with the whole guy with the guitar shooting flames that played the movie soundtrack during the action scene. That guy deserves to get a fucking Oscar. Like, whoever came up with that idea. <laughs> I just loved it. Anywho, um, I guess the only downside I have to give this movie, which really isn't saying much, I mean, I may, I may have to watch it again to, um, to really give a full analysis on that sort of thing, because I was a little distracted at the beginning, uh, my phone was going off, and I'm, <laughs> luckily they didn't kick me out of the theater for that shit, um, my phone was going off, and uh, I was a little distracted. I kind of got a little lost at what the overall story was, but I kind of figured it out. And there were a couple things that confused me about, um, I guess, Max's backstory, which I'm going to go ahead and let you know right now. I have not seen the original movies. And right about now, there's a bunch of downvotes getting clicked right at this point. <laughs> now let me explain normally if I haven't seen any of the previous movies I usually tend to marathon that sort of thing before I go see the new one in theaters especially if the new one's interesting to me I chose not to this time around because I wanted to try and see this like from a fresh set of eyes um, without making too many comparisons to the previous movies like Mad Max, The Road Warrior, and Beyond Thunderdome, which everyone said was laughable, uh, but still entertaining. Um, but yeah, the, um, the, the downsides to me are just minor, just slightly nagging. Like I said, I didn't really understand the flashbacks with Max, but overall, the action was amazing. The characters were insane. Like, that's the phrase of the day. Um, I'm going to put that at the bottom of the screen. Insane. The word of the day is insane. Scream if you hear the secret word. Um, and... Hey, um... Sorry for the interruption. Uh, it's kind of funny. Uh, 
Mall security didn't exactly like me having a video camera recording on their property. So I had to abruptly cut the video off and so I'm going to continue my vlog here. Um, and I'm holding the camera up sideways. I probably should have done this a long time ago. Um, anyway, back to what I was saying about the movie. Um, in some scenes, I could tell it was CGI, but it, it was somewhat of a passable CGI. You know, the scenery looked amazing. You know, the set design, I should I should say. Um, like I said, all the characters are insane. They're interesting. It's just a lot of fun to watch, you know. Um, with Pitch Perfect 2 also coming out, I don't know. I, I, not really a movie I'm interested in seeing, but then again, I'm a dude, so that tends to happen. Um... Pitch Perfect 2, I'm pretty sure that's going to be like the number one movie at the box office, but I'm kind of, I'm kind of pulling for Mad Max to hit number one, but, uh, unless, you know, the Avengers pulls out a third week, third win, straight win in a row, um, the, um, Though part, of, though part of me thinks that this movie might not do well at the box office, because when I went there, there were only four people in the audience. So, and they were all dudes. <laughs> Go figure. Um, anyway, uh, if I had to give this movie a rating, um, I would give it an 8 out of 10. Like, uh, the story was a little bit confusing to me at times. Uh, the action was amazing. The stunts, the, the scenery was, they were just incredible. The acting was good too. Mad Max, uh, Tom Hardy is Mad Max, and it's, it's funny, a couple of times I heard Bane's voice in there, and then, like, uh, <laughs> every time, uh, Max is about to kill someone, I keep thinking, your punishment must be more severe. <laughs> but, um, yeah, Charlize Theron, probably one of the greatest actresses in Hollywood right now, like, uh, I love how she's able to commit herself to just about every role she does. I mean, if you don't know what I'm talking about, look up that movie called Monster. It's, and I'm pretty sure you've heard of it. If you haven't seen it, you need to see it. That is someone that can fucking commit to a role. And, um, Nicholas Holt. I did not know that was Nicholas Holt. For those of you, the uh, little albino that's like a member of the, um, <laughs> what I call the Quan Chi clan. If y'all don't know who Quan Chi is, y'all don't y'all obviously don't play Mortal Kombat. Um for those of you that don't know who Nicholas Holt is, um he's been in several movies, but the one that most box office nerds would know him from, he was the younger version of Beast from the X-Men movies. Uh but yeah, he was great. Like his I thought he was the most developed character out of all of them from a guy who was just supposed to be nothing more than a crony. And the women that were the villain's wives with the villain. <laughs> God. Creepy as hell. But um the villain's wives, they were also um well developed characters too. Because uh at first they started out as, you know, wimpy damsels in distress, then they become fighters. It's I I don't know. I just always loved that. That's probably like my favorite type of character arc. Like the weaklings that turn into the fighters. That's why Carol from The Walking Dead is one of my favorite characters on the entire show. Anyway, like I said, uh, I give the movie an 8 out of 10. The end? <laughs> no, um... Anyway, um... Once again, I want to thank you guys for watching. If you like what you see, hit the subscribe button right here and... I don't do YouTube on a, on a regular basis, so um, I don't really have a set schedule on when these videos are going to come out. Basically, just any time I have something I want to talk about or just, a, hell, another vlog movie review. I might end up doing another one of those uh, now that I'm starting to be able to go to the movies more often. Um, here's a couple of vlogs I'd like to do. Um, like movie review vlogs, video game vlogs. And what I'm hoping is going to be vlogs of me finally moving out of my house. Now, I say hopefully, not because, oh, hopefully I'm going to move out. No, no, no. It's it's official. I am moving out of my house. I'm just hoping I'm going to be able to catch a lot of footage on camera so it'll um, 
be like a decent video for you guys to watch. Uh, I'm moving out with uh, a good buddy of mine. We're getting an apartment in Port Arthur. I'm not going to tell you which, because, which one because I'm worried that there are psychos watching this shit. Um, anyway, like I said, hit subscribe. Hit the link uh, down below to subscribe to uh, see whenever the hell I come up with new content. <laughs> which, again, like I said, is going to be few and far between. Um... Be sure to check out my previous video of the End the Fat Hate campaign. It's where I basically do something I thought I'd never do and take my shirt off and repeat a speech, which is something I'm encouraging other big people to do. Which I'm, I still stand by this to this day. Fat people should not feel ashamed of themselves. Every person deserves to be happy unless you're a serial killer or a child rapist or something. But no, every person deserves to be happy. Especially good people. You know, like, it. I've said this enough in the last video. I really don't want to go too deep into it again. But, again, uh, actually I'm going to put the uh, link right here. Boom, there it is. Um, I'm going to put the link right there. And... Be sure to share that video in particular because I really think this could instill some positivity in people. And that's what this is about. This is about positivity. I don't want anything negative in my life. Like, uh, it's just not worth it. I mean, Danny Vineyard said it in American History X. Hate is baggage. Life's too short to be pissed off all the time. That is a quote that I'm pretty much taking to my grave. Which, speaking of which, I should probably uh, do a couple things to help instill that, but don't want to get too personal. Uh, thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you again soon.